Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Love Me Two Times, as recorded by The Doors on guitar. Now this is a great sort of finger style blues guitar part in the key of E. I'm gonna walk you through all the main sections you need to know to get playing this song today. But before we dive into it, if you're new to the channel, I've got a gift for you right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And when it comes to playing licks like Love Me Two Times, where you're using kind of these bluesier lines around the chords, this page is really gonna help you connect those. So I put the chords and the scales together so you could see how they mix together to create music like this song. So grab your copy completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or I made it easy for you. Just click that first link down below. All right, well, hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's break it down. All right, so the first part is this little two bar figure that's based around an E chord or an E7 sound here. Here's what the riff sounds like. Three, four, one. All right, so we're starting out walking in here on the second fret of the fifth string. We play two, then the open fourth string, then back to that two, then you're gonna roll your finger over and grab two on the fourth string, so. Then after that, we play the open A string, and then we finish with zero, two on the fourth string, so. Now when it starts off, it starts on the and of one. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Then from there, we're gonna play the low E string twice. And then we'll do this little trill on the third string. I'm gonna play the open third string, hammer down to the first fret, just go back and forth there between the notes G and G sharp. It's a very common blues thing where you go, kind of embellish that minor third to major third is what that is. So. do it again. Bass, bass, trill. Okay, so one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four. Then when we repeat this riff around, we're going to add the low E string before all of that. So remember, we were starting originally on the and of one. One, and two, and three, and four. And now we're gonna play the downbeat with the low E and then continue the riff the rest of the way exactly the same. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Two and, three and, four and. So it's just that first time where we leave off the low E, but the rest of the time, we're just looping it around and including that downbeat. So that's gonna be played for the intro, then we play it two times for the verse. Then we go. What this is, is we go up to the fifth fret here, we're gonna play an A7, and I play just the low bass note twice, then do a hammer from five to six there on the third string. So I'm hammering into the middle note of that A7 chord. Then play the first string, then the sixth string, then add your pinky to the eighth fret of the second string, so. creating a little melody in the chord. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then we're back down to that riff for the E chord. So, so far the verse sounds like this. Three, four, one. Then 
here we play the first part of the riff. Then we go to a D7 sus2 chord. And this is from the fourth string down, just open, two, one, open. We're gonna play three bars of this chord. I'm just gonna strum a simple pattern. Down, 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 up, down, up, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Then we do this. back to the riff there. So what I played was I went to a C7. And that's a C chord. We just added the pinky here on the third fret of the third string. And we're gonna play a triplet rhythm, but we're gonna rest on the first triplet. They're quarter note triplets. So triple it, triple it. So triple it, triple it, but we're not gonna play the first trip. So triple it, triple it. Then we go to this chord progression, G, D, uh, seven, sus, two, C, seven, B, seven. So G I'm playing just as a bar chord there. Three, five, five, four, three, three. Then same chord for the D, seven, sus, two, C, seven, then B, seven, two, one, two, open, two there from the fifth string down, so that's strums on each chord. And then we're back to the main riff. So here's all of that coming out of the riff. So we do the A. So that's what happens for the first time around. Now the second time around, there's a little variation and we're coming out of the verse, we're gonna play. Then we go to the chorus, love me two times, G, D, sus, C7, B7. Then here, instead of going back to the riff, we're gonna go to E minor and play more of a triplet rhythm here like we did earlier on the C7. We're gonna go. So that's two bars of quarter note triplets, but we're gonna rest on the first one. So triplet, 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 triplet. Then we repeat the chorus progression, the G, D7 sus2, C7, B7, and then from there, we're back to the riff, and then we go back to the verse for the solos. All right, the last part you need to know is how it ends. And what we do is we take this variation, the second time variation where we're doing the E minor, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it G. We do a tag, love me two times, I'm going away. Love me two times, I'm going away. So we're playing that chorus. Tag it again. Then the last time it goes. And it plays basically a bar of those quarter note triplets then ends on the downbeat. So coming out of the chorus. What an awesome guitar part. That is so fun to play. And really you can see how those lines, those little E kind of pentatonic licks are embellishing that chord. So even though Robbie isn't playing just straight up E7, he's kind of implying that and then weaving his way through the chords. So it's a lot of fun to play. Rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. And then don't forget to pick up my fretboard guide. Again, this is gonna show you how the chords and the scales connect. So when I see an E chord like in this song, I know where my pentatonic scales are off of those 
chord shapes, and it really starts helping you merge the gap between rhythm and lead. And this gives you a framework for the neck. So you can grab it completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you in another video real soon. Mm -hmm.